Hey, straight up, this I'm bumming. All promoters, when them new twinks pop out, I don't want no fucking hundreds. Give me all Tubmans, no fifties, nothing. All Tubmans. If you book me, I want Tubmans. Verse Tubmans. Don't give me no fucking hundreds. I don't want that shit. That's not good. No blues, no more blue boys. Money not good no more. So when niggas say my money ain't good, no. If you ain't got Tubmans, that shit ain't worth nothing. I don't want to get that shit away from you. Hey, straight up, this I'm bumming. All promoters, when them new twinks pop out, I don't want no fucking hundreds. Give me all Tubmans, no fifties, nothing. All. All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shemi Abishai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone, peace and salutations to the hopefully elect. And as you can see, this is a rapper who goes by the name of G Herbo. And he's speaking on how he doesn't want $100 bills no more, which Jake calls them blue notes. But instead, he wants the Tubman's. And that's the that's going to be the new Harriet Tubman is going to be the new face of the $20 bill. In Jake's eyes, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, who are the biblical Israelites, but mainly Judah, you so-called Negroes. This is this is success. This is progression. In your eyes, let's read up a little bit here. It says Biden, moving forward with plan to place Harriet Tubman. On the $20 bill. President Joe Biden will move forward with a plan announced five years ago installed by the Trump administration to place abolitionist Harriet Tubman on the $20 bill. The Treasury Department is taking steps to resume efforts to put Harriet Tubman on the front of the new 20 on a new $20 bill notes or $20 notes, said White House Press Secretary Jen Pesky. She said it is important that the country's money reflect the history and diversity of our country. And here at Tubman's image gracing the new $20 note will certainly reflect that. The Obama administration announced in 2016 that it that it would replace or that it will be placing Tubman on the bill, replacing Andrew Jackson. But the Trump administration said in 2019 that the change would be delayed until at least 2028 because of the technical issues. Pesky said the White House is exploring ways to speed up that effort. If the change is made, Tubman will be the first black person to be placed on a U.S. currency. The initial decision to place Tubman on the bill was made after a 10-month review by the Obama administration, which solicited suggestions from the public on who would be on the face of the newly redesigned $20 bill. Trump had frequently praised Andrew Jackson and talked about modeling his pres presidency after him. Source, NBC News. So like I said before, this is progress for Jake. You know, Jake will feel like they're really getting somewhere behind this new face on the $20 bill, bill which will be here at Tubman. But let's keep this in mind as well. The value of the money is diminishing every single day. <laughs> All right. This paper money means absolutely nothing. It has no backing behind it. See, before there was a time where money was backed by silver and gold. But now, this is just only a private debt note owned by the bankers who are, who are a private company which prints this money. All right. So regardless of the fact, whoever's on the face of this dollar of the dollar bills, this money is completely garbage. <laughs> but see, leave it up to Jake in the eyes of our people. And like I said, it's going to be it's going to be mainly Judah. All right. You so-called Negroes. Who identify who identify yourselves as blacks, African-Americans, colored. Negro, you're going to look at this situation or you're going to look at this um, this thing that Joe Biden is doing 
is the move. What you don't know about how Esau Edom works, he plays on your mind. And this is what he is doing. He's playing on the mind of the people. He's just juicing you up to make it seem like he's doing something good for you. That, you know, you're actually getting somewhere. But really, his plan is to keep you down just for a little while to overthrow you. Let's get into some, let's get into a few scriptures. Let's go to the book of Psalms. Chapter 50. Nope. Let's go to. Let me see one. No. It's 55. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 55, verse 20 it says, He that put forth his hands against such as be at peace with them, he have broken his covenant. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they, were they drawn swords. So when you're dealing with Esau, the way he speaks, he speaks very smooth, right? He talks a very good game. But see, this game, uh, how he, he's using his tongue. So we also call him a fork-tongued devil. He uses his serpent tongue to deceive you, right? To get over on you. See, he has, he has become the master in deceiving. Knowing how to uh, get people in a position where, you know, they're able to be uh, overthrown. Right. But in his mind, he's his, his mind is thinking of how he can overthrow you, how he can further keep you in subjection. Remember, it's all playing on the mind. That's what he is doing. He's playing on your mind. So with things like this, our people see it as a a step closer, a step closer of. um. You know, a progression or we're, we're starting to finally get somewhere, you know. So it says the words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. Right. So when a person draws a sword, it's usually for to be an attack or to defend yourself. But see, E is always on attack mode. And who is, on a, who is he on an all-out assault for? You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. But primarily, he's always on top of Judah and trying to destroy Judah the most. Why? Because he knows that Judah, which Judah will be the biblical name of you so-called Negroes. In the Hebrew, it's Yehawadah. Meaning, praise Yahweh, Yahweh thanks. Right? He know that you are the head and everyone follows you. So he wants to destroy the leader, okay? The head of the tribes first. And then he know the rest will follow suit. So that's why he's so eminent. Uh, that's why he's so, uh, uh, you know, focused on Judah. Or uh, dealing with Judah first. Okay, I mean, he wants to destroy all the tribes, but make no mistake about that. But Judah, he, he, he already knows that Judah's the head. And that's why he comes of, uh, with a full assault to harm them first or to try to destroy them first. And Lord willing, I hope it's all making sense. Let's go to the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 10. It says, never trust thine enemy for like his iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. And our people... They have a problem with this. When we tell them don't never trust their enemy, 
they don't know who their enemy is. They don't look at Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, as their enemy. Even all throughout history. They say, well, these are things of the past. You know, all of them are not like this. You know. So, you know, they look they look past E's wickedness. You know, or you know, once E does something good for them, once again, once E does something good for them, uh many enough times or a number of times, they'll look they'll look past of all the atrocities that he have done to our people. And they'll say things like, Well, you know, they didn't mean it like that and they didn't harm all of us, it was just some of us. You know. But his wickedness is always there just because the outside, it, you know, it looks, you know, shined up oily. That rust is still there. That's how his wickedness is. It's always there. It's never going to go away. And our people seem to forget that. Verse 11, though he humble himself, go crouching and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass. And thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped away. Set him not by thee, lest when he have overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. Neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy seat. And thou has, and thou at the last remember my words and be pricked and pricked therewith. You see. So, you know we have we have been warned in the scriptures of. To not trust our enemies. Right? We have been warned. But yet our people, when we speak and tell them these things, they, they look at it as it's not significant for significant enough for them to take heed. It's not irrelevant enough for them to take heed. So this is why you people are gonna find out that. The so-called white man is the devil that the Bible speak it, speaks of once he shows his horns fully. See, he pops his head in and out of the bushes or in and out of the water, you know, you know, uh, here and there. He'll show you he's the devil, but he'll find some way to calm you down and keep you quiet. He'll show you he's the devil and he'll do it again, back and forth, back and forth. And, and, you know, he'll find a way to rock you to sleep. But... Once he starts to come down with this great wrath and show you that he's not playing and he's going to do everything by force, you're going to know that he is the devil, man. You're going to know it and you're going to see it. But by this time starts to, these things start to take place, it's, it's going to be too late for you, Jake. Majority of you, it's going to be way too late for you because you're going to be already locked in, sewed in, in sync with the system. Majority of you are going to take the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip. And once you get to that point, it's over with. It's over with. Once you trust in his man's system enough where you take the mark of the beast, you, you done. So, going back to this, this is just another way for E <laughs> to get over on you jakes. Let's, li let's listen again to what G Herbo just said. Right? Because this is how Jake going to play it. They're going to say, because, you know, right now, a lot of our people are on the wave of the the blue notes. The hundred, oh, we only got hundreds. We don't carry 20s. And we don't, we don't carry ones, fives, tens, and 20s. We only carry hundreds. Some of them only, some of them might only say we only carry 50s, but majority is only hundreds. But since they think this is a, a t some type of, uh, you know, uh, success. You know, or we're getting somewhere. They say, you know what? I want, I want all Tubman's. So let's listen again. Bumming. All promoters, when them new twinks pop out, I don't want no fucking hundreds. Give me all Tubman's. No fifties, nothing. All Tubman's. If you bug me, I want Tubman's. Verse Tubman's. Don't give me no fucking hundreds. I don't want that shit. That's not good. No, blues, no more blue boys. Money not good no more. So when niggas say my money ain't good, no. If you ain't got Tubman's, that shit ain't worth nothing. I don't want to get that shit away from you. Hey, straight up, this I'm bumming. All promoters, when them new... Shalom.